In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 4, verses 23 through to chapter 5, verses 1a. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of diseases among the people. Then his fame went out throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments, and those who were demon-possessed, epileptics, paralytics, and he healed them. Great multitudes followed him, from Galilee and from Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and beyond the Jordan. And seeing the multitude, he went up on a mountain. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true followers of yours. In this scripture reading from St. Matthew, there's a subheading that says, Summary of Jesus' Ministry. We see it explained here what Jesus did. What was an important part of his ministry. But also too, that very last, very short verse, actually it's half the verse. And seeing the multitudes, he went up on a mountain. Jesus used to quite frequently go up on the mountain to a high place and then preach from there. The Sermon on the Mount, for instance, but also, too, because of the crowd, he needed some time out. He needed time out from the crowd, a quiet time, to pray, to get his thoughts back together again, I guess you could say. We all need that, all of us, especially when we live in the world like we do. But Jesus, he went through all of Galilee. He was teaching in the synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom. He was healing many people of various diseases. And of course, with this, his fame spread. Yes, throughout all Syria. And the people heard of his fame. They brought people to him who were afflicted with various diseases and torments. Those who were demon-possessed, epileptics, paralytics, and he healed them. And because of this too, this great multitude followed him wherever he went. As we read here from Galilee and from Decapolis and Jerusalem, Judea and beyond the Jordan, they would come to hear the word, to see the word of God in all his glory. See this man who did much, who said much. I urge you all, in this crazy world that we live in, to spend some time out, to read the scriptures, to pray, get close to God.
fall on God, always to help you. The Holy Spirit is there to help you, to help you understand the teachings of Jesus Christ. Every day give him the glory for the blessings he bestows upon you. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.